promised to swim with them. Ah, uh, Flora. Did you find anything? No. Nothing. Why did you want to know where the butler is? Nikola Tesla. I was hungry. The president of the state of New York. Do hear by what Yes, I, I thought he did. Well I'm going to talk to everybody. Why did you lie about being a detective? I don't know. Oh, for bitch! This is what, what I did! This is my compensation! Why does he say you're a detective? You know my circumstances. Everything. If I had known you were so heartless, I could have done something more to ask than murder you. You look like you could use a drink. I know you just have to be good for me. No. No. There's work to be done. So who do you think killed Mr. Tesla? It's a little early for that. But I have my suspicions. Who? Mr. Edison! You think it was Edison? Go. I'll take the rest of the house. You must leave this house. I, but not yet. You must go. Mr. Tesla did not want you here. Well, he's dead, so you can drop the act. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Have it your way. The lock. The door. He changed the lock. I want the new combination. What door? The door. You know the one I mean. And if you don't give me the combination, I'll tell everyone the truth about you. Madam, we have never met before. I, I think perhaps you have me confused with something. The detective and I found Tesla dead. Then you showed up right there and then he asked you, besides us three, how many people are there in this house? Do you remember what you said? You said four. Four other people, which is strange because at that point you didn't know Tesla was dead because we hadn't told you yet. Which means you should have said five. It, it was just a mistake. Maybe. Maybe you miscounted. Or perhaps you knew he was dead because you killed him yourself. Madam, that is absolutely untrue. Or perhaps there's another explanation. You could see he was dead. Because you're not blind at all. Are you? Madam, I assure you, I have been blind my whole life. Tesla may be dead. But if people found out you lied to get your position here, they'll send you back to where you came from. Back into chains. I'm blind. There's enough suffering in this world already. I'd hate for you to be dragged back into your old life. I imagine it wasn't very nice. But, madam, I am blind. You're blind. Yes, 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 madam. Very well. Then you're no use to me. No. Give me the combination. I didn't see it clearly. He was always in the way. Tesla. 
You've saved a very important life today. Believe me. Just make sure no one gets into the basement until I'm done. Why keep the secrets of a dead man anyway? Because death is what a good man should do. And was Tesla a good man to you? Those marks on your hands. I know what they are. No! No! son of a bitch! Have the police arrived? Not yet. Could you please come to the dining room? I'm going to tell everyone the truth about you. No, why? You knew the door wouldn't open. You lied to me. I'm not to be trifled with. Wait, 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 wait. I, I know what happened. There's a second lock on that door. A second lock? Yes, it is electromagnetic. What does that mean? If you want to open it, you must turn off the voltage regulator for the whole house. Where's the switch? Outside. Go out the front door. Turn right. I may be a fool, but I'm not foolish. The second I go outside, you tell the detective I'm trying to escape and he shoots me. But, madam, you can trust me. I swear. I can trust the man who's been lying to every single person here. <laughs> no, you're going outside. I do hope I'm not interrupting. Uh, not, uh, not at all, sir. See, we're just standing here in total silence. No, sir. I was just thinking about you, Mr. Swan. About how you have the access to all the food and drink in this house. Are you hungry? I will prepare a supper. No, I'm not hungry. Just curious. I don't believe we've met. I'm the Thomas Edison. And you? My name is Flora White. Miss or Mrs.? I suppose I... Sounds complicated. So, did you know him well? Who? Tesla. Who else? I'm not sure one ever knows a man like him. Hmm. And you two? You know each other? No. We worked for Mr. Tesla at different times. You worked for him as well. How interesting. I thought there was only one person here carrying out Tesla's orders. He didn't like me much, did he, Mr. Swan? I, uh, I am sure I, I don't know, sir. <laughs> I'm sure you don't. Let's drink a little house whiskey. That's 
toast. To Tesla. I, uh, I don't care for the taste, sir. Is that right? Yes, sir. It's the truth. Stop. I want to see him drink first. Drink to your master. I would prefer not. You'd prefer not? What are you saying? <coughs> Stop it! Drink it, you son of a bitch! I know exactly what you did, you pigeon littered little wretch, but you can't kill me! I didn't do anything! It was Tesla's final wish, wasn't it? I want to hear you say it! I don't know what you're talking about! The whiskey, upstairs! You poisoned it! No, 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 no! That wasn't me! Then who was it? I I'm not at liberty to say. The hell you're not! Who was it? It was another guest! Which other guest? I cannot say, sir. So you're in cahoots with them? The whiskey was not meant for you. The person who put the poison in there intended to drink it themselves. What are you talking about? They were going to commit suicide. Kill themselves? Why? Who? The person in question had a change of heart. I don't think they would want me to mention their name. It's a private matter. But what if the person wanted to kill themselves out of guilt for murdering Tesla? Then we have a no, right to... No, no, no. That, that was not the reason. I am quite certain of that. Then what was the reason? Old pain from an old wound. Hogwash. I don't believe a word of this. If you didn't do it, I demanded to know who poisoned my drink. You wait right here. I'll be back. That's not what we agreed. Well, that was before I got hit in the face. Do what I told you. I have to get inside that room. I have to do something on this. My patience is wearing thin. I'll tell them, don't push me. <laughs> push you? There can't be that many cuts of steak in there. Choose one and get moving. You should know. There's only so much a man can endure. Believe me. Women are very different. How long are you going to stand there? I said, how long are you going to- Please! I just want a moment of peace. I don't have time for this. I've suffered too, you know. Madam, I don't know you, but I know I would win that contest. No, you wouldn't. I had a son. A good boy. God knows I loved him. But I abandoned him. So I could escape the men who call themselves my masters. God knows that too. I ran all the way to America, but even here, even now, you people still all want to control me. But you don't understand. I already have a master. My master is my shame. The, the shame I feel for leaving my boy. And now I realize I will never be a free man. So, 
You tell them whatever you want. You cannot control me. But you told me quite plainly that you heard a woman arguing with Mr. Tesla moments before I found him dead. I think... I've been trying to force you to help me because I was afraid that if I begged you wouldn't do it. I don't want to control anyone. Why would you say you want to? I just want to get inside that room. Mr. Tesla promised me some money to start a new life in this country. But he left me nothing. There must be a lot of money in that room for you to care so much. You can keep what's there. So it's not money. What is it? Chance to make my mistake on that. It means a lot to me. It means everything. I will help you. I will let you know. Mr. Swan. Thank you. 